Now to the district where we have team coverage on this weekend's violent cases. Bob Barnard is getting reaction from city leaders, but we begin with Maureen Ume. She's live from D.C. Police Headquarters with the latest on the search for multiple gunmen. Maureen, good morning. Good morning. A very violent weekend here in the district, and really not just in the district. Nationally, a spate of shootings uh, throughout some major cities. But here in D.C., the most prominent shooting happening at Nats Park on Saturday night uh, when gunfire rang out as the game was in procession. Take a look. The liquor store with our damn lawn cheese, and you're allowed to do that. They can't do that up northwest. They can't do that up. Northeast, make them go home. All right, so the shooting happened, like I said, on Saturday evening uh, during the Nats game against the Padres. There was sheer panic when these gunshots rang out by the third base gate. You saw people ducking and running for cover. You also saw uh, people uh, trying to shelter in place because they had been ordered to. The gunfire happening outside of the ballpark. And, and so police say the gunmen were in two cars. One of the cars was a Toyota Corolla, gray one that had tinted windows. It also had a missing hubcap. The other car was, in fact, recovered. But police are looking for that other car right now, the gray Toyota uh, Corolla. Three people were struck by bullets, two men and a woman. The woman that was hit is from Arlington. She was just outside leaving the game, waiting for her Uber when the bullet hit her. She's expected to be okay, as the other two men are as well. Uh, Davey Martinez, the uh, Nats manager, spoke about this, and you could just hear him getting choked up about the senseless violence. Take a listen. I love this city. You know, it's, the city is my home. It can get crazy. We all know that. Um, and we all want to feel safe. I can tell you that inside this ballpark, I feel safer than ever. I really do. Uh, we care about each other. Uh, we, don't, we don't want anybody getting there. So, like I said, for me, yesterday, I try to protect as many, many people as possible. So again, police are searching for a suspect car. It's a gray Toyota Corolla with tinted windows, a missing hubcap, and temporary Virginia tags. Uh, that is one of two vehicles that were involved. A uh, second one was recovered. Uh, talking about the six-year-old girl that was shot that also happened this weekend. She was one of six people shot in southeast D.C. Uh, this little girl was just riding her scooter, police say, when gunmen opened fire, hitting her. Uh, unfortunately, the little girl passed away. Uh, police are very upset. Uh, police Chief Robert Conti saying his heart was broken and also calling these shooters cowards. They're also looking for a gray car involved in that shooting. Not sure if there's any connection between that shooting and what that's part. Doesn't look lightly, but again, a gray car being sought in this case of the little girl, a $60,000 reward also being offered for information. That is the very latest from here at police headquarters. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, just heartbreaking. Maureen, thank you. All of this recent violence has put the national spotlight on shootings in D.C., as well as gun violence that's claiming lives in big cities across the country. Here in the district, leaders are voicing their frustration, saying the city has to do more. Fox 5's Bob Barnard is live in the district at the Wilson Building with more on this. Bob, good morning. Hey, Jeanette, good morning to you. Yes, you, you got to believe officials are not only outraged and frustrated, but perhaps slightly embarrassed. First of all, you had Naya Courtney, a six-year-old girl, out with her family in southeast D.C. on Friday night. She was shot and killed, and then 24 hours later, the shooting during the sixth inning of the Nats-Padres game. Uh, there's been automatic gunfire. There have been young people arrested for armed carjackings in recent days here. Saturday night, uh, or Saturday, after the shooting of Anaya uh, Courtney, but before the shooting at the, uh, the ball game, Mayor Bowser spoke out. And then yesterday, we also heard from uh, Trayon White, who's the Ward 8 council member. Two city officials, angry, outraged, frustrated, perhaps embarrassed. Here they are speaking out. But if we don't start doing something drastic right now, like we, we put a lot of resources and time uh, into the COVID pandemic. We're in a pandemic right now when it comes to this crime in this community. And we got to start acting like it. We all uh, in the government, of course, are going to ask ourselves, what else can we do? What more can we do? What different programs? But at the end of the day, we're going to have to exercise some community responsibility for each other. Naya was killed. Somebody else could be killed tonight. Somebody else could be killed the next night. Because too many people are willing to use guns 
to solve whatever conflict there may be. Now, in a joint statement, Mark Lerner, the owner of the Nats, and Mayor Bowser said these uh, senseless acts of gun violence will not uh, destroy the ability for people to go out and have a good, enjoyable time in the city, but they are also outraged. They call it unacceptable. They both are saying that the ballpark and fans were not targets of Saturday night shooting, but the murder rate here, guys, is at a 16-year high in the nation's capital, and clearly there's outrage to go around. There's the outrage, but people certainly want solutions. Thanks so much, Bob. In fact, it brings us to our Fox 5 Live Insta poll question this morning. We want to know, with the recent uptick in gun violence, do you feel safe in D.C.? Uh, there's still time to vote, and so far, 90% of you are saying no. Just head to our Fox 5 News app, or you can weigh in on our website at fox5dc.com.